Vegan sheet pan pancakes. First of all, let me break the sad news to you. After hearing that, you should know you've been making pancakes wrong your entire life. Pancake batter should be better known as the chameleon of foods. Squeeze it between two hot irons, they call it a waffle. Swirl it around in a skillet to make it really thin. And rather than an omelet cake, they call it a crepe. Yeah, because that makes sense. Even weirder than that, a simple pancake has like 90 names. A hot cake, griddle cake, Flapjack, slapjack, let's stop there. Don't actually slapjack, he ain't do nothing to you. But what tops them all is you can dump all of your batter into a sheet pan. Bake a giant rectangular sized cake. Cut that into smaller rectangular or square sized cakes and call those fluffy pieces of cake pancake and nobody will question it. You call that crazy, I call that genius. <laughs> All right, recipe we're making today is extraordinary because whether you want thin pancakes or really thick pancakes, rather than try to carefully flip each and every circle, you just simply need to swap out what size baking sheet you wanna use. While we round up our ingredients, don't forget to preheat the oven and prep the baking sheet you're planning to use. I usually use vegan butter to prep the baking sheet because I like the flavor it gives to the pancakes. Unfortunately, vegan butter was really out of reach that day, so I had to make do. Okay, you got me, I'm lying. Vegan butter is in my refrigerator, which is all of like two feet away from me. But this can of spray was like right here, so it's kind of a no brainer. We're gonna start out with a large bowl and sifted flour. This is gonna help add fluff to the final product and reduce the lumps. But try using a sieve. One side effect of the device I'm using is that this may result in uncontrollably strong forearms. So when you go to close the shower curtain at night and you accidentally rip that thing clean off like you just knew there was a brand new car behind there, you can blame it on this thing for why you're doing some early spring cleaning. Following the flour, add in some baking powder, baking soda, salt, and cane sugar. Give the dry ingredients the tornado treatment and let's get together our wet stuff. In a medium sized bowl, mine's is a little dirty because I just had some flour in it, drop in your egg replacer of choice. I use the cream from a can of coconut milk. For other egg replacer options, check out the post linked in the description below at our website, makeitdairyfree.com. Or check out my last video to understand why your daddy's gonna need some boxing gloves. Next into the bowl is some oil. I should have used some vegan butter though. It tastes so much better. Then your homemade dairy-free buttermilk, which you can find also linked in the description below, and pure vanilla extract. Now whisk this together to have one homogenous liquid. And just like that, you're almost there. Simply drop the wet stuff into the dry stuff. It's really important here not to overmix. Overmixing can cause a slew of problems. So mix just until you see no more dry batter. A few lumps here and there are okay. This is important because if you're not trying to bake a slab of concrete that you could use to fix your driveway, then don't overmix. After mixing, let the batter sit for about five to 10 minutes. When you're ready, get your prepared baking sheet with vegan butter, not oil, because you actually went to the fridge and used it, unlike some people. Carefully turn your batter out onto the baking sheet, covering the whole thing, and make sure it's leveled on your way to the oven. Now you could bake this up and have basically some of the best fluffy plain pancakes that you've ever tasted. Something like this. Or if you're feeling froggy, you can add some fruit, add some chips, some nuts, whatever you want right before you put it in the oven and it'll look something like this. And as you know me, I don't like settling for average. So I'm gonna show you a little twist. So grab a little bowl, dump in a little brown sugar, a little cinnamon, and give it a little mixy mixy. Now this time into your baking sheet, dump half the pancake batter. Sprinkle some of that cinnamon sugar mixture all over. Now dump out the rest of your pancake batter right on top and top that with the rest of your cinnamon sugar. Take a toothpick and make some swirls here and there and here and then you're done. You know what? This toothpick didn't actually do much justice here. Grab a knife like you should have did in the first place and time to go crazy swirling everything together creating your own Jackson Pollock painting. Take that to the oven and if all goes well, depending on the size baking tray you chose, you could see the magic.
have helped me make this year one of the best I've ever had. The next one's around the corner, so happy holidays. I wish you the best. Let's catch up in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. And don't forget, believe in good. Peace. So what is the origin story of these vegan sheet pan pancakes? Well, if you like me, one day you wake up and you know, I use my ears to tell if my kids have driven my car away. Yep. Still got kids. It's 8 a.m. and somehow they're still hungry, although they ate like just last night. So you go to the kitchen, you mix up some pancake batter. And rather than stand in the kitchen for a unlimited number of minutes making a bunch of CD sized circles, you dump all of the batter into a cookie sheet and set a timer for about 20 minutes and take a nap. 20 minutes later, your kids check the oven and this crazy excitement they say, Dad, you made cake for breakfast? You respond, No, because it has no frosting. But they're kids. So they just gotta get the last word. So they say, clearly that's a cake. But you're an adult who just got an extra 20 minutes of sleep. So you start feeling real philosophical and you go all Socrates on them. <clears throat> Aren't all cakes pancakes? Round cake pan, square cake pan, cup cake pan, spring form pan. Your kids sit there in awe as you drop the remote like it's a mic and you just crushed it on stage. But this little remote landed on your pinky toe and it feels like a 10 pound weight and you weren't finished. You had one more line that at this point you have to utter out in pain. Not all heroes wear capes.